What is up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of The Breakdown. Definitely go follow me on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter name is the exact same name as it is on here, OKC Boy. So let's get right into it. The Miami Heat finish off the Indiana Pacers in six games. Probably should have been five, but they finished them off in six games. And I'll admit, I was wrong. I was completely wrong about this series. I have to give Miami all of the credit in the world. Um, and, you know, the, the Pacers showed up to play, but they just, they was not the better team in this series. And they they just proved that they they can't beat Miami. No matter what happens, they cannot beat Miami. They've lost to this team uh, three straight times over the last three seasons. They cannot beat Miami. Um, and then with that being said, um, no team in the East can beat Miami. Um, you know, if, if, if you weren't going to get Miami this year, then who's going to get them? Because I, I can guarantee you Miami is going to retool. Uh, they're, gonna, they're only going to get better. Um, and, they, and the reason I say that is because they're only going to get better role players uh, from here on out. So, uh, Indiana, I mean, no matter what improvements they make, trust me, Miami will be making improvements to their roster after the season's over, and, and they're winning. And that, that's that's the scary thing about it is Miami wants to get better, um, and they've you know and they've constantly won the East the last four years. Um, so where does Indiana go from here? Um, do they keep Lance Stevenson? Uh, should they keep Frank Vogel? Uh, I, in my personal opinion, if, if, if it were up to me, um, which is not, you know, by the way, but it, it, you know, if, if I had to make that decision, I don't know if I keep Frank Vogel. Um, I mean, time and time again, he, he's proven that he doesn't make adjustments until it's too late. Um, he finally started to, uh, I think I believe in one of my videos. I think I said Mahimi shouldn't play, and in the last couple of games, he finally started to work. You know, he got Mahimi out of the rotation, finally worked Scola into the rotation a little bit more. Um, you know, which Scola, you know, that was a good move for them in Game Five. I uh, can't really speak on Game Six, but uh, you know, it's a good good move for them in Game Five. But you know, uh, you know Frank Vogel. I mean, don't get me wrong; the players got outplayed, but Frank Vogel got he got he got outcoached and. Um, you know, he, you know, he, in, in the Atlanta series, he, he probably got out coached by the Atlanta Hawks coach as well. So, um, I definitely would not bring Frank Vogel back, uh, if, if I was Larry Bird. And what about Lance Stevenson? I mean, this is a young player, uh, definitely has a promising future in the NBA. Um, but if you were the Pacers, would you bring Lance Stevenson back? Uh, let me know if, 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 if you were the general manager of the Pacers, what moves would you make? What players would you uh, not keep and which players would you keep obviously Paul George he's definitely the future of the franchise um, but George Hill um, I don't know if I'd keep him I mean on, on, a, on a championship team uh, George Hill is a backup point guard he's not a starter on a, on a championship team and so um, with that said um, Pacers have a lot of work to do um, but like I said that guy that you see sitting right there as long as he's coach. I don't I don't know if I can ever pick the Pacers again, um, you know, after picking them this time, you know, I, no matter what the Indiana Pacers do, they're not going to be able to beat the Miami Heat as long as LeBron James, D. Wade and Chris Bosh is on that or the team. They're not going to beat them because, like I said, if you couldn't get Miami this year, then when are you going to get them? Because, like I said, Miami is definitely going to retool. They're, they're going to keep some of the role players they have, but I guarantee you they add some role players that's just going to enhance their team. So and that goes for the entire NBA. I mean, if you can't beat Miami this year, then when are you going to beat them? Because LeBron James is in the prime of his career. Uh, Dwayne Wade considerably is really not old player. He just you know has to fight off those injuries. If, if he can keep those injury, if he can keep those injuries under wraps, Dwayne Wade's good to go. Um, and then uh, Chris Bosh is not an old player at all either. So. Like all three of those guys, you know, Dwayne Wade's probably not as much in the prime of his career because of the injuries, but Chris Bosh and uh, LeBron James are definitely in the prime uh, of their career. And you got, you know, guys like Norris Cole, um, you know, guys like that uh, who's definitely stepped up. And like I said, Miami, expect Miami to make some moves with some role players this year and bring in, a, you know, to bring in, you know, better role players um, and, and, not, and not knock the role players they have but just to bring in, you know, something a little bit more. 
Um, but Indiana, um, I just think that, you know, from the, from the whole organization, from the players to the coaches to the front office, uh, these guys are, <laughs> these guys have to be, and these guys are, they're, they're terrible. I mean, let's start with the front office. You trade Danny Granger to get Evan Turner. And I'm not going to talk about which one's better or not, but why bring in Evan Turner if you're not going to play him? Because because I I know one thing, Danny Granger would have got playing time on this Indiana Pacer team and definitely would have helped. You know, he definitely would have provided something off of the bench for the Indiana Pacers. Um, so, with that being said, don't trade something away that 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 can help you to bring in something that that you're not even going to use. So. Um, that that's one thing. And then they brought in uh, Andrew Bynum, who who they could have used, especially since Hibbert was struggling in the playoffs. And they only picked him up to, to get they only picked up Andrew Bynum to get, um, you know, to get, uh, you know, so so the heat wouldn't get him. Um, so, I mean, this is a team that at the beginning of the year, we looked at their bench and said, you know, their bench is a lot better. Um, but really, I mean, they really didn't have a bench and, and all the pressure relied on, on the starters. And that is, uh, you know, you, you can you can only play the chips that you're dealt. But at the end of the day, um, you know, the front office of the uh, Indiana Pacers is just outright uh, terrible, in my opinion. I mean, Larry Bird from Larry Bird to James Dolan. Terrible. I mean, you know, so maybe they need to look at themselves, you know, and, uh, you know, because they're, they're definitely not on, they're definitely not on the level of the Miami Heat when it comes to front office. Definitely Pat Riley's on a whole nother level when it comes to front office and making, making moves with different players and things like that. So uh, what, what do you think that the, uh, Indiana Pacers go from here? And then who do you think that the Miami Heat will play in the NBA finals? And what do you think the results of that will be? I am out.